what's going on guys raven with dca thank you for coming through and in today's video i'm going to go over something that was shown to me and that is how to get more crit damage easy so this was not my idea this was not something that i usually uh that i came up with this is something that's out there a lot of people already know it. it's just kind of common sense but i figured i'd do a video and you know spread the information so without further ado let's get started okay so we are running a typical you know dps build here we have the coyotes mass three-piece providence piece of Fenris for the assault rifle damage and then we're running group O for the uh, crit damage my stats are 60% crit chance which is cap and 186.4% crit damage okay now my eagle bearer is hitting for 110.5 which that could be a lot better if I had better rolls and I do believe my watch is almost maxed out in those two areas uh, let's see weapon damage can go up just a bump and crit damage can go up just a bump and crit chance is almost maxed out so yeah we're pretty close now <clears throat> again this is a typical DPS build it's all reds no blues uh, we have crit chance crit damage all over the build and as much weapon damage as the RNG would allow me so now, again, we're running 186% crit damage and 60% crit chance. So we're going to put on a build that will, you know, basically show you how to get more crit damage. So basically what you want to do is you want to put three pieces of Providence on for the uh, crit chance, crit damage, and two pieces of Sokolov. It gives you SMG damage and 15% crit hit damage. A third piece in this scenario would not benefit you because you cannot go any further than 60% crit chance. So that's pretty much the whole the whole thing here. You want to run three pieces of Providence, two pieces of Sokolov, and one piece of Grupo. The one piece will give you 15% crit damage. Now my stats on this particular setup is 58, well right at 59% crit chance, which is still wonderful, and 200% uh, crit damage now this could be more if I had you know better rolls on my pieces or my mods but this is just what I have like this piece is horrible it's got good crit chance good weapon damage but the crit damage is horrible um, and there we have one off from being god roll which is the crit chance crit chance and crit damage could improve and stuff like that so it's just an easy way to get it uh, you know to get you more crit damage and crit damage basically is the damage inflicted upon you critting onto your enemy now we had this already set up so let's say you want to see if it's worth it well here we go headshot I'm doing 609 487 now taking you know be reminded that you're going to do more damage to players than you are in this gun range so let's go to the typical DPS build <clears throat> again we're running 60% crit chance and less crit damage we're down to 186.4 all right but let's see what our crits are 603 645 645,000 crit. Body shot, we're at 520, 360. 645, that's pretty, pretty good. Alright, so. Now, there's been talk. If you look at my stats again, there's 60% crit chance and 186% crit damage, right? 
you're capped out at crit at 60%. You can't go any further. We can still, there's still room for improvement down here. All right. With that being said, look at the pack instinct talent. Zero to 15 meters, you gain 25% critical hit damage. That's great. A lot of fights are taken up close, so that's perfect. 15 to 25 meters, you gain 10% crit hit damage. That's good. 10% critical hit chance. Well, that's not good because you can't gain any more crit chance. 25 plus meters, you gain an, an additional 25% crit hit chance. That's not going to work. So there's 35% of that mask, the talent on that mask in crit chance, that it's worthless. Because unless you're running a rifle or sniper rifle, that's not going to benefit you unless you have like laser aim, which, you know, there's people out there that do. But that's just wasted. 35% crit chance is wasted. So the only thing you're really gaining here is this 35% crit damage. Okay, 35 on top of that, that's, you know, that's, that's good. You're doing a lot of damage there because you're already at a, almost at 187, 186. You add another 35% on that. You're pushing a 220 crit damage, 215% crit damage. Now, even though on the other build you gained, um, you know, you gained 15 percent crit damage you're not doing the damage because you're losing the assault rifle damage we're still critting good but you're only at 600 and say 10,000 crits versus 600 and almost 50,000 645 something so you have to ask yourself is it worth running the you know, the three-piece with the two-piece Sokolov, three-piece Providence, two-piece Sokolov with 1% or the one-piece Grupo for the crit damage. I personally don't always agree with it. I guess it's situational. Um, you know, leave your comments below and let me know what you guys think. But <clears throat> I personally think that it would be, um, you know, regardless of the fact that you're only benefiting partially from the Coyote Mask, I think that you... Uh, I actually think that you benefit more from it, from that uh, 50, 0 to 15 percent. Uh, let me see something here. Yeah, I mean, we still, we have the same mods, 11.6, 11.1, and 11.2, but we're running the same crit damage mods. Oh no. 11.6. One point one, one point two. So yeah, we're running the same crit damage mods, which are the three better ones that I have. So anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Um, again, it's just an easy way to get some crit damage, but it's not always beneficial. So, and again, with the coyote mask, I don't always think that's beneficial, even though the crits are hitting harder. Um, you know, you just kind of have to make up your mind which way you want to go. Um, and again, this build can improve. So if you have better rolls or better mods, you know, use it at your discretion. That's just an easy way to get, um, it's just an easy way to gain, to gain more crit chances, just adding two pieces of Sokolov to your, uh, to your build. And again, I didn't come up with this. This is something somebody showed me uh, a week or so ago. And I just figured I'd do a video on it. So yeah, if you guys, uh, you know, haven't already, like and subscribe. And, you know, put your comments below. Let me know what you think. And hope you guys are staying safe and stay blessed. And we'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.